you can be trained to assess high frequency constantly under all conditions high frequency will be flowing and when it is like that you cannot be stressed uh, external situations affect people uh, because um, they actually reduce their connection with spirit frequency by being overly obsessed with the worldly things. The hormones in your body, they are connected to the emotions which come up and interrupt spirit frequency. So you have to first of all balance the hormones. So you close the right and you draw in strongly this uh, uh, through the left nostril which is the moon. Then you keep it for it to be stored. And then after a while you turn and release. Right, hi, welcome to John Cosmic Foundation. And what we do here is to take you back to the source. Uh, and we encourage you always to subscribe to our channel and also check the links down in the description uh, so that you can contact us. Today we are looking at stress, anxiety and depression. Uh, and I'm going to use stress as a generic term uh, because it seems most of these terms are related. And fortunately, we have our usual guest, Dr. Baf Wejan, here to explain certain things to us about stress, anxiety, and depression. Good morning, Doc. Good morning. Thank you for your time, and thank you for always <coughs> helping and supporting us. Okay. Today, we are looking at stress. Uh, it looks as if most of us uh, are in stress uh, due to our work, um, our family issues, uh, uh, monetary, a whole lot of issues. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the cause of uh, stress in general? Okay. Yes. The human, we are, as I always say, the human is spirit, um, in contact with energies which are lower than spirit, the mind, and then the body. Yes. Now, the energy super comes from spirit. Then um, it moves into the mind. Then the mind distributes it to the body. If the flow is not steady, somehow something blocks it along the line, and at the same time that the flow is not, uh, is not uh, coming, at that same time we need that energy to express ourselves. So we force to express ourselves under conditions where the replenishing, the restoration is not coming. So in this way, we are short of mental energy. And uh, uh, this is uh, what is responsible for um, the stress, depression, and, uh, and so on. So, um, when we have a lot that um, takes energy from us, because when you are thinking, you are also spending energy. So it's not only the physical action that uh, takes energy, but mind also takes energy. When you are thinking, it's activity. So we can say mental activity. So all the time uh, we spend 
the amount of energy within us reduces because we spend it, we use it in thinking, in planning, in solving problems. Now, in this way, if um, we are using more than we are uh, receiving, then uh, the situation of stress comes upon us. So that is how uh, the stress gets on people. So it's, um, if I understand you, it's from, you said we are spirit. Yeah. And because we've reduced in energy to the mind and the body. Yeah. And uh, we, are, we are being blocked. That is why uh, we, are, we are having these stress and anxieties. What yes. actually blocks us? Yeah, very good. Good question. When the spirit um, is sending energy into mind, and mind is sending it into body, spirit frequency is love, peace, joy. So anything other than that is an interruption. Okay. See, it interrupts the flow. So, uh, in this material zone, the, where these lower frequencies are expressed or made, or they are manifest, the, uh, this zone, um, everything moves with its opposite. That means that thing is not complete, so it has something else to fill the space. So uh, that something else becomes interruption okay. to the flow from spirit. When light is not there, darkness takes its place. When there is such interruption, uh, it means that something other than um, the spirit's pure frequency is uh, crossing the way. And it's normal in this material uh, setup that lower frequencies will interrupt high frequencies okay. flowing. And um, um, the, I know we will come to solutions also, yeah, but uh, uh, this must be understood that uh, Enough spirit frequency, spirit energy, uh, in its pure sense, is not reaching the drama zone, the lower world, you see. And uh, um, it is this which interrupts the flow. For example, when um, our minds, we develop emotions like fear, anger, uh, anxiety, and so on. Uh, these things, they are not the qualities of spirit. spirit. Yeah, you said spirit is love, spirit La is peace, love, oh, peace, joy. joy. Okay. You see, so... Uh, when uh, these other things come up, then where they are manifesting, spirit frequency is very uh, low there. It's not reaching. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. It's just like light, light and darkness. darkness. Okay. So when the light is not reaching, the darkness is there. Mm -hmm. See, So that is how it works. And in this world, that is what we usually do. We are in the uh, hatred era. Uh, we are thinking of only ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, we are struggling for, for the physical things, for the mind things, and even not things of the spiritual. So I agree with you that that's what blocks mm -hmm. uh, us, and we are now in stress. Yeah. But uh, there is a research going on that um, more women are into stress than men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it true or do you have any 
anything to say about that. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what it is, is that um, women, they are stronger in the uh, internal side. That is, when we consider the mind, the emotions, and so on, before the physical. But the men are stronger physically. You see? So, uh, the women, uh, when it comes to things like uh, stress and other things, actually, um, they cannot keep it uh, the way the men keep it. Okay. Yeah. Um, the stress comes up and it is raw upon them. But the men absorb it in the physical because men are stronger physically. So as the stress moves into the physical, the men are stronger physically. But the women are stronger uh, subtly. Internally. Internally. And uh, they are weaker on the physical side. Because everything is polarity. So when things are moving from the internal to the physical, they are weaker physically. So um, they cannot really bear it. Mm -hmm. So they are always uh, um, seen to be um, having too much yes. of it. So but I, I think in one of your teachings you said uh, in the internal realm is uh, much higher in percentage than the physical. Yes. 96 and I think 4% on the physical. And so there may be women are more stronger than men. Or yes. They are stronger as far as the internal matters are concerned. Percent. Okay. But when the internal is something moving onto the physical plane, the external, then they, can, they don't have uh, that okay. aspect. Okay. So that one they can bear. See? And always that is the case that whatever is going on internal will move onto the physical expression. And that is where they cannot bear. Okay. You see? Okay. Mm. So how long does stress or anxiety take uh, for it to, <laughs> let's say, go or something like that? Um, to be done with? Mm, yes, exactly. How, how long? Let's say if I have stress, mm. uh, how long will I continue to have the stress? Yes, as long as the cause remains, it also remains because it is an effect of something. You see, um, the effect is that you're not having sufficient um, higher frequency energy. So, the lower ones, um, they interrupt the flow of higher frequency. And once they interrupt, you, you're not going to feel good. Okay. Yeah. So, you are a spirit and you are of high frequency. So, um, in this zone of lower frequencies, you want to express yourself as you are. But those things, um, they bear upon you because they are lower in frequencies and uh, they frustrate uh, the person. So he tries to do things and uh, doesn't get the expression true because of these lower frequencies. And uh, in that frustration, there is anxiety, you see when one can't express himself very well. You see, um, when you take this uh, example, when you have, um, let's say, water very hot, you see, when it is very, very hot, then it's uh, turning into vapor. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, if you happen to cool the vapor, you're getting the water. water. But in this, the water in this hot state, if you 
send it straight towards ice blocks. What happens? It loses its heat and the ice block picks heat, so it melts. Mm -hmm. You get a point? Yes, I understand. Yes. So, if the nature of the water is that originally, if it is very hot water that we are referring to as spirit, then when it goes in contact with the ice blocks, it cannot remain as it is. Uh -huh, hot. And uh, it also doesn't want to get cold. Yet, it is in contact with something that is very cold. <laughs> and this is something that bears upon the spirit. Something is lowering your energy, but uh, um, you are a being with full energy and uh, it's a kind of uncomfortable situation. So, uh, and that is going on with the, each person like that. Now, if if somehow um, the, there is consistency with the, the coming of the high, high uh, very hot water, water in quantity flowing, flowing, the ice block will melt and even get hot. Okay. Because continuous uh, hot water, continuous hot water, then the ice block will melt and rather the ice block will be affected more, you see. Um, it's trying to affect the hot water by cooling it. But the hot water, if it is constant and it is very hot, then it gets to a point, the ice block will rather melt, become water, and also get hot. So this way, uh, spirit is uh, to con have continuous flow of high frequency. Mm -hmm into the mind. the mind and mind will be picking 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 and that is what we call higher mind and its frequency will get close to that of spirit and when it is like that then it also affects the body, the body. Okay. and it picks the body's frequency up up then the topic of stress and all that mm -hmm. is no more there mm -hmm. but we don't get the flow constant from spirit and that is because our attention is turned towards the physical. physical mm. See, but what we should do is that um, our attention should come to the spirit, and uh, then the spirit uh, is uh, moving with such a force. You see, but if you turn your attention to the worldly things, then spirit relaxes behind mm -hmm. and uh, the force there is weak, you see, because spirit is uh, um, not getting into things unless we actually um, turn our attention there. And when we do that, that is what we call self-realization, mm -hmm. then you are realizing uh, the true nature of the spirit, it empowers the spirit to move into this zone uh, successfully. Otherwise, uh, spirit backs off a bit and all your involvement in the world will be weak and uh, you'll be affected. You feel being affected. Mm. Uh, okay, and, and I understand you best yeah. when you use those illustrations. Yeah. For instance, uh, uh, what you just used mm -hmm. from, um, you know, hot water into the ice block, mm -hmm. I, I really understand it. Mm -hmm. But here in the case, most of us, uh, we use drugs, um, alcohol, sex to release stress. Mm -hmm. And so we are just in the physical, uh, we're trying to use the physical things to fight this stress, which I think that is exactly what you said, we didn't help, but we use we should use high frequency mm -hmm. things uh, to solve this stress issue. But let me give you a typical example. Let's say if I have a funeral, mm -hmm. 
uh, I've lost a very loved one and I'm in grief. I'm facing an economic hardship. Mm. What should I do so that I can acquire this high frequency and solve it? Good. It's a, a kind of training. You can be trained to assess high frequency constantly under all conditions. High frequency will be flowing. And when it is like that, you cannot be stressed. Okay. Yeah, you cannot be stressed. So, uh, external situations affect people uh, because um, they actually reduce their connection with spirit frequency by being overly obsessed with the worldly things. That is why the saying is that seek first the kingdom. The kingdom. That means spirit's dominance. Spirit as a king, seek it first. And once that is there, all the other things will be taken care of. But if you don't seek that first, and you are seeking just the world, the other things, that is where the problem comes, because spirit's energies will not be easily available for uh, the involvement in the mind and body. And uh, in this way, we actually pass through um, the stress, you see. So yeah. let's say when I move to nature, yeah. um, I'm in stress, I move to nature, am I accessing spirit energy to solve my stress for me? It is steps, you see. We follow steps to spirit realization. First of all, um, you move to natural things. And natural things are in tune with spirit frequencies. Natural things assess spirit frequency very easily. But unnatural situations uh, interrupt spirit frequency. If it is, for example, food, natural food helps to let spirit uh, frequency or spirit energy, which is very high frequency, to move. But when you take things which are unnatural to your system, then you interrupt the flow of spirit frequency. It's not only food, but whatever we take from outside in. Sometimes the taking in, we only think of food, but uh, things you are taking through your eyes, inside, things through your ears, inside. Can you give us an example, things that we, we watch and hear? Yeah. Yes. There are things which report negativity in the mind. Say, if you are, let's say, watching, um, like sometimes the children, we don't uh, look at what they are watching. Uh, they may be watching a film in which there is so much aggression. Mm -hmm. uh, terrorism and other things, you know, people shooting, you know, fighting and all these. And it's recording inside. But you are a being of love. You see? Mm -hmm. So you interrupt the love as you record these things inside there. So the love wants to express itself but you are recording uh, things that are uh, um, they, they are opposite to love. So, if you happen to be watching a film that generates your feeling of love, then 
um, I'm not talking of physical love, but yeah. real feeling of spiritual love, when, which, which, is, uh, um, which is not meant for just one person. But spiritual love is for anything that enters your field. Yeah. Human, animal, anything that enters your field meets the love. When it is like that, then um, um, the things you are taking through your eyes um, harmonize with your, your love. When it is like that, that is good. But that doesn't interrupt. But uh, when it is something of aggression and uh, you, you, you uh, I mean, fighting and uh, all those things that go on and uh, make your mind. Sometimes you, you see something through your eyes and you become angry. What you have seen makes you angry. Definitely. Yeah, mm -hmm. you see. But uh, that means what entered your eyes is interrupting your love, your spiritual energy. Then what you hear through your ears makes you so agitated, you know. Mm -hmm. And when it is like that, it means what you heard is of a frequency that is counter to spirit frequency. So therefore, it is an uh, interruption to your spiritual nature. See? So it is not only food that goes in and uh, disrupts or interrupts spirit frequency. All the senses, the five senses, things that go in. Now when these things go and uh, interrupt the spirit frequency, then one is going to be exhausted because spirit frequency is what gives you the uh, the higher uh, I mean um, energy. energy, you see. Um, the enthusiasm and the and the life force within you is coming from the spirit. spirit. So if you interrupt it, then you feel depleted. And uh, then uh, we can say anxiety, uh, stress is coming upon you. See? And so you are still live on John Cosmic Foundation. We are discussing stress, anxiety, and depression. And we are here with Dr. Bafujan. Uh, if you want to contact us, check the links down below. You'll get our number and you contact us. And also remember, we have some courses for you. If you are really seeking, if you want to awaken, uh, just contact us and we'll show you what to do and what not to do. Uh, doctor, we wouldn't waste much time on this because you've said a lot. You've almost given us lots of the solution. Mm -hmm. So what and what should we do so that we eliminate stress at once from ourselves? Yes. Um, all the things that in this zone happen to us and uh, out of it is generated anger, fear, um, anxiety, grief, all these things, um, if, <laughs> I call them viruses, you see, because they stand in the way of expression of your spirit. And uh, in the long run, they report as sickness. Sickness actually means interruption of the high frequency of the spirit. Okay. Okay. You see, so uh, in order to be freed of these things, um, we have to use certain techniques. Technique number one, the hormones in your body, they are connected to the emotions which come up and interrupt spirit frequency. So you have to, first of all, balance the hormones. Okay. Let the hormones go to sleep and just let them be. 
calm. Let them be balanced. Once the hormones get balanced, that is step one. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you said you have to calm down the hormones. Yes, as balance the hormones. Okay, you see, when you balance the hormones, emotions don't arise, anger doesn't arise, anxiety doesn't arise, fear doesn't arise, sadness doesn't arise. All these things, um, jealousies don't arise, greed doesn't arise. So, once they don't arise spirit frequency cannot be interrupted then you are dominated by spirit frequency so um, when you achieve the balance it results in some things that is why spirit frequency is able to come down what it results is in is this um, the emotions which have become peaceful or calm, uh, now the mind will follow suit. See, the agitations of the mind will also come down. And now spirit uh, can express its frequency through the mind, and the mind will be functioning on a certain high level. And then it will spread that energy into the body, and one cannot be sick under those conditions. Okay. There wouldn't be any anxieties, there wouldn't be any worries, no stress, and so on. Even the external conditions of stress may exist, but they don't give you stress. You can be inside them, but you will not be stressed. Not stressful. Okay. See? For the external conditions, that is not what we should target to stop, which is a, a wrong uh, approach. We want humans want to stop the onslaught of the uh, external uh, conditions which bring stress. But they've tried from <laughs> things we cannot solve is what we are trying to solve. Yes. Economic hardships, relationships, yes. and the rest. Instead yes. of tackling ourselves. Yes, you tackle yourself, calm your hormones, then allow spirit frequency to express itself. And that boosts your magnetism. And then you can, uh, you can attract the good things out of the bad things external. Because frequencies connect. So once uh, you calm the hormones and the mind calms down, spirit is able to express itself throughout your mind and body. And once it can do like that, it boosts, it sends some energy around you that is peace. It sends some energy around you that is love. It sends an energy around you that is joy. And once it is like that, that kind of energy is magnetic. And uh, it, will, uh, it will connect the good things outside. So in the middle of all the bad things going on, you get the good things out of it. Because it's not only bad things going on. Um, mm -hmm. It's polarity. Good and bad. This is the world of good and bad. So positive and negative. But your felt will pull the positive to you and um, repel the negative. Then that is the natural way to live. That is the best way to live. Instead of tackling the outside, the negative is coming, you want to prevent it, you can't. But when you draw a field around you that is positive, to attract the positive outside and repel the negative outside. This is practical truth. Okay. So and is it only um, the balancing of the hormones? Um, once you balance the hormones, it will lead easily to 
other things. Calm, yeah, the other things. Okay. It makes your breath become. Uh, you see, the breath moves in out, but the length of your breath indicates how much stress you have. So, mm. when the hormones are calmed, then your breath becomes very short. And that indicates that you are coming closer to balance point. Mm. You are coming closer to uh, the point where spirit can now send energy. Mm. Because spirit is not in the polarity of this and that. It is, uh, things are the opposite. No. So it's, it's waiting for you to calm everything down. But how you can do it first by balancing, balancing the hormones. And you can even use the breath itself to calm the hormones. That's what I wanted to say. We don't have enough time, but uh, if you could give us a little technique so that we can calm the hormones. Oh, I know those who are really seeking will definitely join our classes, but uh, once uh, we, are, we, are, we are doing this video, once people are on the basic level, maybe they may need just a, a small technique. Can you show us something mm. small so that mm. we can calm our hormones? Yes, yes, yes. You see, the, if you want to calm the hormones, um, the breath that is going inside you needs to be balanced. If I say balanced, there are two energies, one from the sun, one from the moon. Okay. And these two energies, your two nostrils represent them. The right nostril represents the sun. The left nostril represents the moon. So positive and negative. negative. That is why they are there. Now, you have to blend them and let them uh, balance. Once they balance, your hormones will balance. Okay. That is a technique. <laughs> it's one of the techniques. techniques. You see. So how to draw in the air to balance the hormones, especially morning and evening, you can utilize it. In the morning, um, the atmosphere is going to be dominated by the sun energy, because sun is coming up until it goes down. Maybe. So um, you need more moon energy uh, through the nostril, which is the left. Left is the moon. Okay. So you close the right. As I'm sitting facing you, my right is here. And you close it and draw in air strongly through the left. Then keep it, let it store, you see. Because the atmosphere is going to be the sun, the sun, the sun, the sun, sun energy. So you need you some need moon. moon. Okay. So that's the balance. So you close the right and you draw in strongly this uh, uh, through the left nostril, which is the moon. Then you keep it for it to be storing. And then after a while, you turn and release. You can do it seven times in the morning. Okay, seven times. Yes, as a beginner, you do it seven times in the so morning. you can do it more than that yeah. when you are more concerned yes. with it. Now, uh, when you do it seven times, you have stored sufficient of the moon to keep you throughout the day. You see, it takes you throughout the day and it balances the sun's energy coming. So sun is throwing it inside you and uh, it comes to meet moon stored energy and the, there is a balance. balance. Once there is a balance, the hormones will also balance. Mm -hmm. So it's a technique to balance the hormones. In the evening you repeat because throughout the night the balancing is needed. If it is not there, sometimes people uh, they have all these kind of dreams, 
you know, but it's all a sign that things are not properly working. You see, the nightmares and all that is a result that uh, things are not balanced in the body. But they attribute it to these forces here and there. But uh, when you balance uh, the hormones in your body through this technique alone, you have such a sound sleep and no nightmares. Uh, so anyway, in the night, in the evening, uh, you do the opposite. Okay. You can face the west. In the morning, you face the sun, the sun when you are doing it. In the evening, you face the west where the sun is. But this time, the night is going to be dominated by the moon. So you have to close the moon and store the sun, the, sun. the sun. So that yeah. in the night, uh, when the moon, is, the moon energy is dominant, then Can there is a balance, balance because you stored the sun. So how to do that? You close the left, you close the moon and store the sun. And uh, you do it the same way you were doing in the morning, but seven times. So now it is morning. Let me give an example. Okay. You know. So you, when you're doing it, relax. Let your spine be straight. Mm -hmm. Your feet can be flat on the ground. And you may be facing the direction of the sun. Then you close your right nostril. I'm going to do an example for you. Yeah, I did two. You have to do seven. And by the time you finish with the seven, you already feel the calming when your hormones will be coming down. They will be getting balanced. And you do it daily. Don't leave a day out. And if you keep doing it daily, uh, the result is that your hormones become so balanced. It's morning and evening. The morning you close the, uh, the right, but in the evening you close the left and breathe in through the right. So, this way, once your hormones are calming down, you begin to realize the things which used to make you angry, they don't make you angry. Hormones are connected with these uh, emotions. So you, um, the proof that your hormones are getting balanced is when you see that things that make you uh, anxious, uh, uh, afraid and all those things. They no more do so. And it is a step forward, actually. Mm -hmm. It's an achievement because 
when it is like that, it prepares the way for spirit frequency to express itself. And when spirit frequency expresses itself, the result is that you feel love, you feel peace, you feel joy. And uh, it, is, it is just you. That is you, you see. And um, it is a fulfillment in life. Nothing stresses you. We really appreciate it. This is free information. And as I said, you can also join our lessons. It's actually free. There are a lot of things Dr. Jan can teach you so that you can balance your hormones. Uh, doctor, tell us a little bit about uh, JCF, uh, the, the course that you are embarking on. Yes. The JCF, um, we have the uh, intermediate course. Normally, one expects basic course, intermediate, advanced. Advanced, yeah. But I begin with intermediate. Why? Because what I'm sending out there, including what I, what I gave you right now, they all are for the public free. <laughs> basic in <pony. laughs> <laughs> Those are basic. Well, but this is very deep. Most of your teachings are very deep. Yeah. So when you call this basic, I yeah, don't know. But they are basic things. Okay. And uh, then uh, for the intermediate, um, what it means is that one has gone through the uh, lectures and uh, basic things, tried them, and feels uh, a seeking spirit awakens in the person. And uh, the intermediate means your seeking spirit has reached a certain level. So uh, we let you register. And it, uh, it requires determination and humility. Okay. Once you have determination to reach a high, high level. level. If I say high level, what it means is that for your spirit frequency to dominate so that you, you realize you are spirit and spirit is God. So God's qualities that we talk about, peace, beyond understanding, all those things become yours. Okay. See, there is nothing external that affects that state. And... It's more precious than anything in the manifest world. And the mystery is that once you attain it, the very same things you have been chasing after chase you. Okay. You chase money. Money chases you. Don't chase money. As I read the book and someone was saying we shouldn't I'll be looking for money, relationship, and those things. We should do things that will make the relationship and the money chase us. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So your spirit is super magnetic. Super, super magnetic. So what you need, the spirit draws it. For you. What it doesn't draw, you don't need you it. Things. You see, you don't need it. So there is fulfillment because it will always draw what you need. What you need for your mission to be for, uh, fulfilled is drawn, it brought. Uh, you are here, certainly there is a purpose. And um, spirit knows and spirit attracts what you need so that uh, you fulfill your mission in life. Mm. And uh, therefore, at that level, what comes, you embrace automatically because that is what fulfills. But uh, without our spirit attracting things and we are running after the things, uh, most of the time what we don't need we, we think we need. Uh, uh, 
So you try to get it and it doesn't give you the uh, required peace of mind. It doesn't give you happiness as you thought it will give. It doesn't give you peace as you thought it will give. You see? So uh, this is uh, what we should uh, register to get the uh, techniques. The techniques continue. What I just gave you, these are basic yes, things. Yes. So, so when you, you go into yeah, the intermediate, there are more there techniques. There are more techniques. And you also have an advanced course as sure, you are seeing. Sure. Okay. Okay. The after intermediate, there is mm. advanced. Okay. See, when basic, basic is helping you to stir the motion from the physical to the subtle. If I say subtle. The mind. To the mind, the okay. zone of the mind from physical to the mind side. Now, uh, there are techniques to move from mind to spirit. Because okay. spirit is the highest thing. And when you realize spirit, there isn't anything further because that is the God realization. Okay. So you've heard it for yourself. Doctor, final words on uh, stress, anxiety, and depression. Yes. We are in an age we call it Iron Age. And the whole atmosphere is charged negatively by 75%. The positive in the atmosphere is 25% in the Iron Age. Mm -hmm. In the previous age, which was uh, Copper Age, it was 50%, 50%. Then before then, we had Silver Age, which was 75% positive in the atmosphere. Wow. And the negative was 25%. And then the silver age. Silver age. Then in the golden age, that is when it is like positive, positive, positive. The atmosphere is so positive, almost like 100%. And uh, iron age is the opposite of the golden age. golden age. Okay. So by and by there's 75% negativity in the iron age is uh, increasing and the spirituality uh, the positive aspect is reducing as if it is going to be zero. Mm. But it is designed that it won't reach zero then it has to turn around. Turn around. And it will move to the, the golden age. Yes, again. it's a cycle. Okay. It's a cycle. Okay. So as for zero, it's not permitted. So it is coming down. The percentage of good in the atmosphere is reducing. Uh, the frequency, the atmosphere is so down. And everyone knows it, that uh, things are really down. But uh, one can... Uh, you alone as a human, this is a great opportunity for the human. Only humans can have this. That you are in the Iron Age, but you can switch on to Copper Age, switch on further to so, Silver Age, switch on further really? to Golden Age human. And when a golden age human is living inside the iron age, people would like to even worship. Because it's like he's doing wonderful things. You know, people are stressed, people are this, don't know, he's not and stressed. He's, not stressful. he's peaceful, okay. he's loving. All the great qualities are there. So it becomes like uh, um, oasis. Oasis is some small water in the desert. Everywhere is dry, but then you have some small water there. So you can be in that state. You can be an oasis, oasis. inside this desert of Iron Age. Everywhere dry, everywhere negative. You can be positive, positive, positive. You see, mm -hmm. this, is, this is the truth, you see. And it's a possibility, other than that, uh, uh, some of the great ones of the past will not say it. 
that be ye perfect even as the Father is. Father is. That means, uh, let the perfection of the Spirit manifest fully. And it harmonizes with Spirit everywhere. So Spirit is all over. But uh, if you don't realize, you cannot be aware of it. Your awareness of it has been dulled. You see, the awareness of the truth that you are spirit has been dulled. It has uh, really gone down. So we need to awaken. See. So with the uh, lessons I'm providing, uh, when I define myself, I, I spirit is providing. And you are spirit. So allow, open the way. Let body and mind aside. And if you are attached to body, mind, and proud and everything, you cannot get the message. You can't mm. understand it. But once you allow an opening, just like the way clouds open and the sunlight... So you should be receptive. Yes, you become receptive. That is where it reaches your spirit. So it's from spirit to spirit. spirit. That is the message. See? Okay. When it comes from spirit and mind alone wants to analyze it, understand it, and so on, you are you wasting so time. So far. Mm. All right. Thank you very much, Doctor, for your time yes. once again. Yeah. And also thank you for having time to watch this video. Please watch it over and over again and get the understanding once and for all. Thank you and see you in the next video.